So YouTube, YouTube's got a bit of a problem with um, adult content that is uh, masquerading as educational content on the platform. And, and basically because it's educational in nature, or at least they claim to be, uh, they allow these select few creators to get away with whatever they want. They can show you anything and they show you everything, right? Now, most creators on the platform, myself included, about 99% of, of creators, if we showed you even 25% of what I'm gonna show you that these creators uh, show in their videos, uh, our channels would get deleted. They just wiped off the platform. YouTube like, nope, you cannot show that at all. But because these, these videos that they're claiming is educational in nature, um, they can get away with basically anything. There's, it's basically the Wild West. You can show and do whatever you want. Now, this is adult content that leads to even more adult content. And before we get into what I'm going to show you, I, I do want to say this video is not, I'm not trying to be the morality police. Don't leave any comments saying, Scott, you, you're being a little, a little goody two shoes. I don't, I don't care if you want to watch adult content. I have, I have, don't care at all what you want to watch. This isn't like a, a religious video or like a no fat video. You shouldn't be watching this type of content, guys. That's not what this is about. I don't care what you do in your free time. Now, what I do care about is creators who are, are blatantly bending, or I would say breaking the rules, they're breaking YouTube's policies uh, in order to show content that 99% of all other creators cannot show, can't even show anything remotely like this. Uh, but they, they blatantly break the rules to promote their adult content. And anyone can watch this. Children can watch this. It's not restricted at all. Anyone can go to this video and see it. And they'll have links directly to their OnlyFans and other adult content. And you can go there and anyone can sign up, right? Now, before we get into this content, we're going to be taking a look at some of these creators, specifically one lady who is now going viral. She put out a video where she just, you know, she just whips out the ladies right on camera. And now she has, I think, like 4.5 million views on a video that just recently came out. And of course, she has links to her to her OnlyFans. And, and you know, she's showing whatever she wants in the video. And that, that video is going absolutely viral. Most people can't do anything remotely like that, right? So how YouTube works, there are ads that get played on most of these videos. You'll probably see an ad on this video if it doesn't get demonetized. And how that works are businesses pay to run these ads on YouTube videos, right? Now, these businesses don't want their ads to be shown on risque content, right? They don't want their ads to be shown on anything with gore or anything with nudity or possibly anything with, you know, political views. They want their video, they want their ads to be shown on very safe videos that they don't have to worry about getting backlash for putting their ad on that, right? And there's been ad apocalypses in the past because uh, some ads have been shown on risque videos and obviously YouTube needed to make changes, but because of because of those policies and because YouTube wants to continue to make money, YouTube will restrict most creators as to what you can actually show in your videos. They're very strict about uh, nudity or about gore or something like that. Um, and what what will end up happening is most creators, myself included, will be very careful about what we show because we don't want to get our videos demonetized. You'll you'll often see people um, not say specific words, like they'll say self-deletion instead of the other, if someone self-deleted instead of that other S word, or they'll say corn instead of the P word, or if they have like a, a, you know, one of those things, they won't say the G word, they'll say pew pew, right? And that's not creators trying to be funny. They're not just like trying to be hilarious or anything. They're doing that specifically because they don't want to get their, their videos demonetized because YouTube is very, very strict with most creators as to what can actually be shown on the platform. If you claim your video is educational in nature, uh, that doesn't apply. Apparently you can, you can do whatever you want. Now, specifically, there was a video about a year ago. There was a guy, uh, let me pull up his name. If I remember what his name was, is a guy named Kevin, right? Kevin Leonardo. He made a video, uh, that went massively viral where he, he nared his butthole on, on the video. And three seconds in the video, he just, you know, spreads his cheeks and shows you the entire Sarlacc pit just for everyone to see. And it's pretty crazy that that video went viral. It has, I think, 51 million views at the time of me making this video because people were, people were, <laughs> people were shocked that YouTube allowed this to be on the platform, that a guy can just spread his cheeks, show you the entire Sarlacc pit for everyone to see. Uh, and YouTube was like, yeah, that's cool. We're, we're cool with buttholes, uh, buttholes being on the platform, as long as it's educational. If it's not an educational video, that's, that's not okay. But if it's educational, all the buttholes you want, just throw them all out there, right? So that video went viral, 50, 51 million views, massive success for that guy that he got to 
that he got to show his, his butthole to 51 million people. But that's just the, the tip of the the tip of the iceberg. I was going to make a butthole joke, but that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can actually find on YouTube. Now, one of the um, one of the niches on YouTube is if you actually go and type in the word, just type, start typing in the word transparent uh, on the YouTube search algorithm, the YouTube search bar, and you'll come up with something called, the first thing it'll be recommended, at least when I do it, is something called transparent try on haul. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a bunch of women who wear a bunch of transparent clothing where you can see everything. You can see literally everything. And the, these videos aren't restricted at all. Many of these videos have millions and millions of views uh, and anyone can watch this. There, there's no restrictions. And they get away with showing you their entire bodies because it's educational, right? They, they claim that they need to show you, right? They, they're buying these, these, these transparent clothings, tr transparent pieces of clothing, and they have to show you what it looks like on a human body, guys. So they have to show you. And obviously, if, if they show you, that you're going to see all, all the goodies. Uh, but that's that's okay. It's it's educational in nature. Completely fine. Even though many of these women are, are doing this specifically to draw uh, people to their OnlyFans, which many of them have even more risque content. But that's 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 one thing right there, right? Some people are okay with that. Again, I don't really care if you like adult content. That's completely up to you. But I think it's inappropriate to blatantly abuse the system, in my opinion, to claim this is this is educational in nature when it's not educational. We, we Everyone knows it's not educational. Now, the transparent clothing market niche has been around for a while, uh, but there's a new niche that's forming, uh, a new niche that some some very uh, risque creators are <laughs> are trying are trying to uh, trying to to make a make a thing and, and get become very popular off of this new niche. Now, specifically, I want to I want to focus on one creator. Her name is Eva Wardell. She's only been she's only been posting for about a month on her new channel, uh, and she already has about sixty thousand subscribers. Eva Wardell, and in this in this uh, video or in all of her videos, most of them, what she does is something called the wet shirt review. So basically, this is a wet T-shirt contest where she uh, she <laughs> she shows you a piece of clothing and she says, so "This is what it looks like when it's dry." And now I'm going to get in the shower and look and you'll see what it looks like when it's wet. Because, again, that's very educational, guys. There's nothing, nothing weird about that. It's just purely everyone needs to know what the shirt looks like when it, when it gets wet. That's very important. So I've got this gorgeous white top here. Um, it's nice and baggy and it's got this kind of pattern through it. It is a little bit thick. Um, and it's actually a little bit rainy at the moment. So I want to make sure that this shirt survives the rain. So we're going to do a shower test. All right. The water is a little bit cold at the moment. Very educational, very important, right? Now, what's interesting in all of these videos is if you look in the description of every single one of her videos, again, she has a link to OnlyFans content. Now, as I said, if you did anything remotely like this and it wasn't educational, uh, your video would get demonetized. You cannot do this for most creators cannot do this, but because it's educational, educational in nature, uh, she's allowed to get away with whatever. Now the wet t-shirt, the wet t-shirt uh, videos are one thing. You could say that's not a big deal. She's she's still clothed, you know. Sure, you can kind of see through the outfit a little bit, but she's still wearing clothing. No big deal. Well, Eva, and I have to give her credit. She's uh, really thinking outside the box here. Great job, Eva. Eva started a new channel, Eva Education. Right now. <laughs> If you see the banner of the banner of her channel, it's Eva Education. It's breastfeeding education, right? So now she's making breastfeeding educational videos, and all she only has uh, five videos currently right now. All of them are, are exactly the same. She's just wearing a different outfit in each one, and these breastfeeding tutorials 
Again, they're, they are educational in nature, guys. Don't be weird about this. It's purely for education. And in each one of those videos, she has a very creepy, disturbing baby doll. And she pretends that she is going to show you how to breastfeed, right? And in each one of these videos, she just she just whips one out. Just, just whips it right out of the shirt for, for everyone to see. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Eva. So this channel is dedicated to those who are wanting to learn about breastfeeding and I will give you some tips and tricks and show you how to breastfeed successfully. So you will need a baby. I just have this little doll here, um, but this is just for educational purposes. I'm using this. When you are ready, you can remove your breast. My breasts are full of milk at the moment. And you can hold your baby like so. Now, obviously I'm gonna have to blur a lot of that out. Obviously in her channel, she shows you everything, but I, I can't do that. And that video, or, or at least her biggest video on the channel has 4.2 million views at this point. So apparently 4.2 million people uh, wanted to learn uh, about a, a breastfeeding tutorial. They they just, they, they care so much about, you know, giving children proper best breastfeeding techniques and they want to learn all about it. So that's that's why it's all here. It's not it's not a bunch of guys just oogling this woman and getting to see breasts on YouTube uh, uncensored. That's not what it is at all, guys. Don't be weird. Don't make this weird. Again, it's purely educational. Now, like I said, if you actually go to her description, you'll see she has direct links to OnlyFans because that's what this is. And what's really interesting is if you don't know, you can't actually advertise. If, if you're a business running ads on YouTube, you can't run advertisements directly to OnlyFans. They won't allow that type of, uh, those type of, of ads to be run on, on YouTube channels. And so this type of content would not be able to be advertised for OnlyFans content. But I, I got to give her credit. She very ingeniously came up with a way to make a video go viral where she can show her her, her honker on camera and that video has now gotten four four point two million views and uh, I'm sure a large percentage of people or a decent chunk of people have probably signed up for her OnlyFans because of this video. So I actually wanted to do a little math and see potentially how much money she made uh, from OnlyFans for this creator. So if you don't know, basically like a 1% conversion is, you know, fairly, fairly average in business. So let's say, you know, she has 4.2 million views on this video. Let's say 1% of people have clicked on the link in description and gone to her OnlyFans and signed up, which her OnlyFans is currently $3 for 30 days. Uh, so that would be, you know, 42,000 people uh, at a 1% conversion rate. 42,000 people have potentially signed up for her OnlyFans, uh, which would be, you know, 42,000 times $3 that would potentially be $126,000 that she's made in the past month uh, promoting her OnlyFans with this very educational content. Now, what's really interesting, um, what's really interesting about this video is again, again, guys, I don't care if you wanna watch OnlyFans content, whatever, but when people are, are blatantly breaking the rules in order to allow anything and everything to be on the platform, that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Now. If you actually watch her, her videos, I've, I've done research on these videos. Uh, what's really interesting is the actual, the actual breast that she shows in the video isn't actually her video. Most people in the comments think it's real, but it's not. Some people have actually figured out in the comments section that what she's showing you is basically, it's like a, a breast plate. It's like this latex breastplate that she's wearing over her actual chest. And so it's not actually real. And this is, I, I got to give her credit, very smart move to not actually have to show you anything that's real. She just shows you a fake breast and that convinced a bunch of people to make this video go viral, get, you know, 4.2 million views and sign up for her OnlyFans. So in my opinion, that's pretty crazy that you can, like I said, literally get away with anything. You can just whip your honkers out right in a video as long as it's an educational guys it's an educational breastfeeding video where she literally teaches you nothing and she just smiles at the camera in a different tight little outfit hey, guys guys it's a it's a breastfeeding tutorial oh don't don't click on my only fan links down below where you can see even more uh, adult content that's pretty crazy to me that that 
YouTube allows this type of, of content to, in my opinion, blatantly break the rules and claim that they are educational in nature so that you can show whatever you want, right? I don't think that that's something that is appropriate. I, I don't think that uh, these types of creators can get away with anything when the majority of creators are heavily restricted by YouTube. YouTube's like, no, uh, you say the wrong word or you show a picture of a girl in a bikini, uh, that video is getting demonetized. Sorry, that's not okay. We don't allow that. Oh, it's educational? Yeah, whatever you want. Buttholes, you know, wieners, uh, boobs, whatever you want. Guys, show it all. It's cool because it's educational. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I'd love to know in the comments below what you think about this issue. Do you think it's appropriate that you can show whatever you want, that YouTube allows anything to fly as long as they claim, as long as the creators claim it's educational in nature? Again, anyone can watch this, children, anyone, whatever. Or do you think that YouTube should, you know, kind of put the brakes on the whole educational content aspect and be more selective as to what they can actually allow people to show in this type of niche, niche, the educational content niche? Let me know in the comments below. Um, my opinion, I gave my opinion in the video, but I'd love to hear your opinion as well.